We'll progress the conversation on insecurity in the country still with Dr. Emeria, who is still with me in the studio. You watched that video and you heard the security analyst there talking about the challenges. What do you think we're not getting right in terms of security in this country right about now? We're not getting a whole lot of things right, but let's start from the, the, the ones that are very basic. The police system, the police force is wrong. Um, we don't have enough. We're under we are understaffed in the police force. We are a country of 200 million and... In fact, some say it's 200 plus. 200 plus million and I mean, here we are. We are not properly staffed and we are understaffed. So the ones we have are not that good. And here we are, we are also dealing with um, low number of people who are not good. And here we are dealing with intelligence in police force. Every system can be traced. There's nothing that there's no, it's not rocket science. We can get this thing fixed if we want to fix it. Okay, just look at the, the state of our Nigerian police system. They can't even tap a call, they can't even trace a call, they can't even, they can't even intercept um, stuff like that. They, can, they don't use choppers, they don't have a way of zoning in, uh, having area views of places and um, documenting um, stuff as it goes. So I think a lot of things, what we are operating is a, is a um, 2020 Nigeria with a 1985 model. Mm. Clearly, it won't work. It That's won't work. So the um, the security infrastructure in Nigeria needs to needs to um, get a total overhaul, complete total overhaul, complete. Mm -hmm. Everything needs to change. All right. Some people have also said it's not just the government alone. We also, as individuals, collectively, as a community, or as a people, we have a duty, a role to play. What do you think? How should we go about it? You know, some people will say, if you see something, say something. Does that really work in our situation here in Nigeria? Uh, it should be able to work, but the government must admit that they failed. Then we help them. Or we can drop all the taxes and, and still do the job of the police force. Yes, if you see anything, if you see, sense anything, there should be like a short code number, a 911 or something to call, emergency number. But here we are, we don't have, we don't have any functional number. You might even call and um, it's not available and stuff like that. So, no when one you, is speaking so when you see something, how do you say something? On my own credit? It should, it should be toll free. So we're having these conversations on a country that is totally low in economic budget, and you're also giving them responsibilities to, to work for you. I mean, there's a whole lot going on. But I think that if we are dealing with, um, the, we're going to help out for, is, um, for these, to fix this whole thing, then the government should be able to say, hey, we're out of options here. Can you help us? If you see anything, why not send you through here? But okay, what's the possibility, what's the chance that if you send it, you won't be victimized because we've seen that in this country too. So you are the first person to report the crime scene and here you are, you are detained and you find out who the guys are. And this is the reason, these are the reasons why Nigerians are not cannot help the government because uh, whether we like it or not, the transparency, we're not very transparent when we're dealing with the people. And um, until police becomes our friend, then we can't. Indeed. Yeah. And then um, lastly, you saw the video. Uh, I'm sure you also saw the work, the protest work or prayer work, as you mm -hmm. like to call it yesterday. Is, is it just divine intervention or is divine intervention all that we need or we need to move forward? Because some people are saying Nigeria has got a spiritual problem. Do you think that's I think the what reality? We have, what we have is a mental problem, not a spiritual one, because spirituality means that when you ask God for something, you should be able to know the answer when it comes. Now, you've asked God for, for a solution to the insecurity problem. The solution might actually be... Uh, fixing your police force, mm -hmm. okay? You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't expect somebody to swoop in from heaven and hey, everybody is already falling under one kind of fire. No, it doesn't happen like that, okay? We need to get into uh, this. Now, I don't want to turn this to a spiritual thing, but we need to take um, learn how to take our spiritual answers and process them into physical stuff. Mm -hmm. Because when somebody says something or answers you spiritually, it might actually be a working police force. That's the answer. Okay, it might actually be a well-equipped police system. Okay, so after the prayer work, did anybody do neat analysis on the gaps, equipment gaps in the police force? Did anybody do a neat analysis on, on the information gap or capacity gap or competence gap? Hey, God is not going to use us. I, be, I, I don't want to laugh at that, but you know, they can't undermine the place of spirituality, but what more? Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, we can't find God's address in this, in this country. So I don't know where we're going to go knock at his door to make, make sure he fixes it. Yeah. All right. Thank you so very much again for your thoughts.